Hey guys, this is another video by Mr. Mutech, and today we're going to be talking about the Dalio app. Okay, let's compare the free version versus the paid version, and then look at some of the features of this app. So when you first launch it, you'll pick your themes, customize emojis, and choose things that you want to track, and then set up reminders and goals. Okay, so this particular tab that you're looking at is called the Entries tab. It gives you an idea of how you're feeling on a daily basis, as well as even on an hourly or minute basis. It also provides information about your goals and things that you wish didn't happen, such as getting bad sleep or eating fast food. You can also look at the statistics of each of these items. It'll tell you how often you did certain things together. It also will tell you your average daily mood you can also look at your activity count to see which things you've been doing the most. You can also look at your goals, and then you can even look at your mood count so you can have an idea if you've been feeling better more often or worse more often. You can also look at achievements, and you can look at a mood chart just so you can see if there's a specific pattern that can be found as to why you're feeling a certain way. The other thing you can see is a longest chain which is a goal that you have set that you've reached or accomplished in a consecutive period of time. Okay, now let's look at the calendar. This is a basic function that allows you to add entries in case you miss them. Pretty simple. You pick a day, you add an entry, and then you start adding your mood and other things such as sleep, food, or chores. Then you click Save. Okay, if we go to the more option, you'll notice here that you can track goals. You can also look at your weekly reports. You can also check your achievements, which is kind of nice. You unlock different achievements over time. And you can edit moods and edit the design and color of the app and functionality. Let's take a look at the premium and see what you get more. Okay, so if you go premium, there's no ads, you get unlimited moods, you get automatic backups, unlimited goals, advanced statistics, infinite reminders, and so forth. What you're going to pay basically is $23.88 a year if you go annually. If you decide you just want to pay monthly on this app, it's $2.99. Whether that's worth it or not is up to you. I think the free version works just fine, and this app's really nice, so I'm going to continue using it. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you today. Um, thank you so much for subscribing, and hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Have a good one.